feels like such a good day. My something's arriving. Finally happened. Boxes are here, very thrilled. I'm now just gonna get ready because we're actually going out for brunch with Alex's parents who are popping down for the night. They're actually not staying here, but we are meeting up for brunch. So that will be lovely. So I thought I'd get ready because I wanted to show you guys and talk to you about this. It's the new Purito BB Cream. It's replacing this old one, the Snail Clearing BB Cream, which is one of Taylor Wynn's favorite. BB creams, but it has been discontinued. Um, and I actually loved it too. I got this literally when we moved in like six weeks ago and I've gone through about two thirds of it. Like I am just flying through it, worn it pretty much every day. But obviously they, they discontinued it and they released this one. This is the Sika Clearing BB Cream. It's in the same shade, 21 Light Beige. Now in Korean kind of products, I'm more of a 13, but I can make the shade 21 kind of work. It is a little bit dark, but the undertone is really nice. It's got that really kind of grayish kind of undertone similar to like the Misha BB cream. And I just love the formula so much. And I've tried this for the last couple of days and I really feel like there's no difference between the two. Like I've done half and half faces and everything like the color, the finish, how much coverage you get, everything feels very similar. The only thing maybe is that the snail clearing one, I felt like perhaps had just a little bit maybe slightly better transfer resistance, but they're so similar. So this is a fantastic replacement. It's fragrance free, it's essential oil free, which is something I didn't like about this one. So I'm, I'm really thrilled. I think I like it a lot better because of that. You can see like how dark it is when I first put it on my skin, but it's it has really good coverage, but you can use quite a lot of it. So it's sort of like a really highly pigmented um, tinted moisturizer is kind of how it sort of feels on the skin. It was so funny because the removalists arrived quite early this morning and brought all the boxes in and we're like, okay, we'll start unpacking them now. And I was like, no, I'm unpacking them. <laughs> Don't take away like my most favorite activity that I'm so excited about. I love unpacking boxes. They were quite shocked. I was like, go have a coffee, enjoy your morning off. I just feel like it would be way more hassle than it's worth like directing them around. Like that needs to go there, this needs to go there than if I just did it myself. So <laughs> that's what I'm excited to do, but I'll probably do most of that this afternoon. Something I'm really excited about. I've got all my backup Flower Beauty concealers, but I'm gonna try and use this, whatever is left in this this morning. There's a tiny bit, but it is getting really, really hard to get out, even though I pulled out the stopper and everything. I've used every last drop. We just could not have predicted so many delays, but it's okay. It's here now, we can get settled, we can feel like we're finally making a life for ourselves. I think that was really funny is when they all piled in, we were like, there's not much stuff. Like in our old apartment, it was just, you know, so much smaller that the boxes took up like all of our bedroom and like a good chunk of upstairs. Oh, I'm so excited to be reunited with some new makeup, new things to try again. Um, and I think my next video is gonna be organizing my makeup collection into my storage because that's something I can do quite easily. I've already got some of the storage solutions that I'm gonna use for that, so. That will be one I can get on to. That's what it looks like on the skin. I haven't powdered or anything today. I might add a little bit just in this area. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like without powder first. The number seven powder. We'll just do a little bit here, a little bit around my T-zone. So we're back from brunch. It's actually middle of the afternoon now because we went and had a look around the tannery as well while we're out there which is one of the most beautiful places to go shopping in Christchurch if you like more boutique shops. But now it is officially time to crack into the boxes and unload everything. I'm very excited. Okay, that was very dramatic, but actually I'm going to just open the suitcase first. No cutting required. Unlike a normal move where you have boxes that have like certain rooms stuff in it, so you can just put them in different rooms and un unpack them there, we've kind of got everything mixed up and jumbled up because we just went with the strategy of putting in anything that would fit 
So we've got like some kitchen stuff with some living room stuff with some bedroom stuff like it's all mixed so It's gonna be fun. I don't remember what was inside everything. This one does say mirror inside so I hoped that it wouldn't smash that was the goal anyway my other music stand yay oh, my tea strainer now I can buy some loose leaf tea oh this lovely mirror Wee, it's got a really long <laughs> so this mirror was in my bathroom in the other place it's got this incredibly long chain on it because it was hanging from the roof um, I'll have to shorten that with some flyers. This is a little one from H&M Home. They're really nice mirrors there. This is possibly going to be a little bit boring, so I think what I'm going to do is unpack it all and then just start with the actual styling of the lounge. I'm going to put bedroom stuff and lounge stuff over there, kitchen and dining there, and bathroom can just go down there. Yes, keep cups. While I'm unpacking, I definitely need some tunes, so I'm going to pop this fantastic album on. My late grandfather had a huge collection of records that I've recently been given by my grandma and this was one of the ones in there so it was really cool. Twenty past six, and I finished emptying the boxes. Some things are still like slightly wrapped up and stuff, but most of it has been pulled out. Well, it's all been pulled out and like sort of sorted into piles. So I'll show you guys around. This is the last box. My nice mountain of bubble wrap, which I'm excited to pop. Just have some sort of arty stuff over there, frames. My lovely pelts are back my fluffy rugs and my sheepskins, a few other little decor pieces, our laundry bag, the gold poof which I wasn't that keen to bring but Alex likes it for putting his horn on when he practices so it went in the box. Some of my plant stuff so I've got a few of my favorite pots with me. The sweet guy, watering can, my little clippers, my Japanese Secateurs, I think these are called. Some plant food. Oh, running low on battery. Okay. Alex was laughing at me for bringing back all of my little like, cleaning products and toiletry stuff from Murchison Hume. But I tell you what, I spent a lot of money on these containers and the shipping to get them to New Zealand, like if I was to buy them again from the website, is so expensive. So I was like, I'm really pleased that I packed them because they were, you know, they didn't take up that much room. And I can just refill them with like other cleaners that we get here in New Zealand because I just think the bottles are so beautiful. Got some filming equipment here, my ring light, some more lighting. I don't 100% know what's in this bag, I have to kind of empty it out. I think office -y stuff. The rest of my Dyson ear wrap, and my massive tripod. And we've just got a few random things on this table. There's some beauty bits like my hairbrush and stuff. There's cookbooks, it's, it's a bit of a mess. All of our towels, which I'll probably need to wash again even though they're washed before they went in I don't know and then on here I've just got all of our kitchenware stuff that I'm still yet to unpack some of the delicate things this darling girl yes Hetty I'm so excited to vacuum with you and then the only boxes that I haven't technically like properly unpacked I guess are these boxes which have some clothes in it I just left those in here also I wanted to give you guys a little update on something that I discovered today um very sad news. I was on Instagram and someone tagged me in a post regarding the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. This is my favorite sunscreen, pretty much. I have a couple that I like, but this one's like one of my holy grail ones. Um, and there's been some testing done on it, independent testing, that is showing that it actually only protects you up to SPF 19. It's meant to be SPF 50 plus. Obviously this morning I was testing out their BB cream I'm still going to use this because I use this more as a like a foundation kind of thing. It's nice that it has some SPF in it, although I'm now questioning whether it is actually SPF 38 as it claims. It's probably more like SPF 12, but that's okay because I use this as a foundation. I would never rely on a like tinted kind of base product as my SPF anyway. So I'm still going to be loving and using the BB cream, but warning, word of warning, if you have purchased this on my recommendation, first of all, I'm truly, truly sorry. Uh, it always breaks my heart when... I recommend something especially if it's like a holy grail product and I've really raved about it and and I know that so many of you have purchased it on my recommendation it breaks my heart when something like this comes out my suggestion is 
It's still a beautiful moisturizing formula. It still sits beautifully under makeup. It still protects you to about 19, SPF 19. So my suggestion is if, especially if you live in somewhere like quite northern, like Canada, the UK, Scandinavia, use this in winter because I think that will be absolutely adequate, especially if you're spending a lot of time indoors or you work from home, most of us are. I feel like for winter this will be fine. Just wanted to pop that in here because I've just learned about it today and because especially because I was talking about their BB cream, I thought I should mention it. The good news is that I do have other sunscreens to start using immediately <laughs> that just arrived on the boat. The Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel is one that I also love and is actually my preferred favorite for summertime. I think it holds up just a bit better in the summer. It's a mixture of chemical screens and physical screens. Fingers crossed the mermaid skin gel is good. Uh, I feel like I had really good experience using that like last summer I didn't notice much pigmentation so I'm hoping that means that it's working properly as it's stated but we will find out I'm sure. Anyway back to the moving blog. So what am I going to do now? I I need to have dinner on the table. Oh, I sound like such a housewife but I do. I need to have dinner on the table in like an hour and a half because Alex will get home from his work. He's out doing like school teaching stuff this evening. So I need to prepare dinner which means I really need to get the kitchen sort of like workable. It won't be all beautiful and styled um, tonight obviously and I'm going to film that kind of for another video. So I just need to get everything unpacked, wash a few things and make some food. So for dinner I am cooking my simple summer pasta which is actually my own recipe. And it's on my website if you're curious. It's very simple. That's why it's called Simple Summer Pasta. It's just got like five main ingredients. A bit of garlic cooked in butter, some cherry tomatoes, some pasta, which I actually should get on to boil, <laughs> some bocconcini and some basil, fresh basil. So it's really, really simple. And then of course like salt and pepper and things like that. And it's just really tasty and nice and light. And because it's quite a warm day here, I thought that would be perfect. That's what that looks like. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. I thought I'd do a bit of a check-in. After dinner last night I did a bit more settling in so things are really starting to come along. I cannot tell you how amazing it feels to just have our little things around. My plan of attack for today, I do have to do a little bit of teaching at midday but uh, it's mid-morning so I'm just doing some stuff around here and I'll go out after I've taught. Um, just to pick a few things up because now that everything's here and I'm sort of like putting things in their places I'm sort of able to now look around and realize what things I still need to get like there's one or two things I need a mirror like a larger mirror for my little makeup table area and just some little bits and pieces around the home so I might leave the kitchen to, to do tomorrow which is going to be a whole nother video um, I may even attempt the wardrobes today but we'll see I might have to do a double whammy video tomorrow because the wardrobe's going to be a whole sort of one in and of itself as well. My makeup one, I'm not going to do that till next week. I might open up the box and start pulling things out, but I'm not going to like organize it into a storage until probably Monday. This is the state of the office at the moment. Things are looking pretty hectic, but as you can see, I've put all of my lovely gowns up on the little clothing rack. This is sort of our little formal concert wear clothing rack. I might get some um, timber like just normal plain wood hangers for this. So I think that would look better and um, put these white ones in the closet because we've got like a ton of white ones that we're gonna use in the wardrobe or at least one of our wardrobes, might need to get more. These are little storage containers I'm gonna use in the wardrobes. They're just like little pack away kind of foldable ones. Filming and lighting equipment. I think I'm gonna end up storing this in like our, my lights. I'm gonna store it in another room, just kind of set up and that way I can just pull it through when I need them. Yeah, things are looking a bit cluttered and hectic at the moment, but we're getting there. Lots of people freaked out over this bug on the wall, which is quite hilarious. <laughs> um, this is not something that I chose. This was a piece that was already in the house. It's not something I picked out, so I might change that eventually, but for now, that's, that's staying there. It's just a beetle guys and it's not alive it's not a big deal but yeah all my plants are looking so good oh yeah i probably got a few more plants since you last saw a couple of extra palms for the corner which look really cool i got a little piece lily because they're nice and affordable and it just adds a little pop of extra green but then i got this very bougie plant my little watermelon pepperomia i got that from node in littleton which is a really lovely designer plant shop this is the mirror that I think I might try and buy off Trade Me. It looks so hideous, but I'm gonna paint it, obviously, 
I think that's why it hasn't sold yet because it's bright blue. But I can see potential in it and it's the perfect shape. I was hoping for like a rounded top mirror or something like that and it's nice and big, perfect dimensions and I was like, well, we've just got to have a DIY project to do. I got this really cute little like window mirror from Spotlight and it's really cute but I don't know if that quite goes... I don't know, the white finish is not quite right. So I think I might paint that brown. I think that would actually look really cool. This little part of the room, I've just put this piano stool <laughs> and put one of my sheepskin rugs on it. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a gallery wall situation here. We've got like quite a bit of Christchurch related art, a little map of Christchurch. Um, and this is a chalkboard of the Christchurch Cathedral pre-earthquakes. So I'm thinking of like putting those up there along with a couple of other little pieces or something. It'd be quite nice to put something on that wall. And then we use the seat just for like, you know, putting your shoes on and stuff. <laughs> so good to have a little laundry bag back in our lives again. Yeah, and then this is a little overview of this part of the room. Something I did kind of start working on is my little jewellery area. Got all my lovely Nord Green watches, some of my sort of most worn jewellery at the moment. My more sort of dressy earrings and stuff, all my headbands. I'm not sure if I'll keep them on there, but I was like, wow, I, I love headbands. And then I shortened the chain on that H&M mirror and popped that on the wall there. It looks quite cute. Alrighty, my lessons are done. I'm now going to head out and grab that hideous blue mirror. <laughs> as well as some supplies to do it up. Definitely feeling a bit more overwhelmed today. Like yesterday was actually really fun and just unpacking it all and putting it all out. But now it's down to the kind of like small details that require quite a lot of thought and, you know, things that I've got to do like DIYs and such that require getting supplies. And then it's sort of like the impact of that takes a lot longer to come to fruition rather than just unpacking things and putting them out. Like, yeah, so. But anyway, I'm gonna go do that. Then I can come back and have some lunch. And then hopefully tonight I'll be able to show you guys like the living room all set up with the fireplace on. It's looking really cute. And these baskets I got from Trade Me, they are so cool. Big log basket, one for pine cones and one for like kindling and fire starter. And we've got some nice, nice little like knickknacks up here on this sort of little bay window. It's just so nice and cozy in there. It's like my little log cabin area. I got home just in time guys. I got home about 10 minutes ago and now it is pouring with rain. There's a storm, there was thunder, lightning, very, very frightening. Yeah, very successful shop. I am shattered. I was out for five hours. <laughs> Firstly collecting this hideous mirror, but it's gonna have so much potential. I'm really excited to DIY it. And then I went to Rickard and Mall on a Saturday afternoon on the first weekend of December. Not a good idea. It's definitely the worst time of year to be like moving into a new place and setting it up because everyone's trying to Christmas shop and you're trying to carry bulky home things through the store as well. So that was stressful. This is my absolutely <laughs> hideous blue mirror. But like, look how glorious it is as a mirror. It's gonna work so well in this little space. I got a stack of these wooden hangers from Kmart. I got some craft paper wrapping paper so this is all like recyclable wrapping paper it doesn't have any like metallic or anything on it got this really nice wooden tray from Kmart I'm thinking of using in the lounge on our coffee table but hopefully it works this is a really nice frame that I actually used to own in Australia as well it's like a Kmart classic such a beautiful frame for how much it costs I picked up a bunch of different colored like warm tone colored walls because I'm going to do some pom-poms for my Christmas tree. So I'm going to do like a setting up my Christmas tree and decorations and such video when it arrives. So you'll see me doing that. I got us a little compost tin for the kitchen. This is from Farmers. Treated myself to the L'Occitane Lavender Foaming Bath. This is like a really nice bubble bath. And it's a full aluminium, fully recyclable container which I love although you can also buy refills to fill it up for like much cheaper so I'm so excited this is going to be so nice for the bath as well as some of their almond hand cream because I've started climbing at Alex's gym <laughs> which I never thought I would do but it makes my hands so dry so I really desperately was in need of a good hand cream to keep in my handbag I have a couple of like big ones that I keep at home but this is a really nice little like travel size but I'll just quickly show you through some of the other things I got I honestly Got so many little things. It wasn't actually too much money. It was like quite lots of cheap things, but just there's so much. Got this cute little jewelry stand from the warehouse for my necklaces, because I don't have anywhere to hang those and they get all tangled. Um, grabbed some more twinkle lights for a garland that I'm gonna make with some branches that I'm gonna forage. <laughs> well, that's, we'll talk about those 
in my kitchen video. Some glue, a lint roller, a paintbrush that's for the mirror. It was like $1.50. Also got some PVA glue. So the other glue is like a kind of intense hard out glue and then this is like craft glue. I got this little candle, honey, apple and fig. Again, a cheap candle but one that's actually really nice from the warehouse. Yeah, and that's to go in the living room. It actually has a little bit of cinnamoniness to it so it smells quite like festive. Some more 3M hooks, my Christmas decorations, some tape, some wrapping presents. I got a little terracotta tray because one of my plants doesn't have a little drip tray. That was like a dollar. Then, oh, I'm so excited about these. I got these two plant pots from the warehouse, but they're like wicker baskets, but designed for pot plants. So this is the first one. Um, this is the water hyacinth planter. And then the inside is lined with plastic. You can water straight into it, I'm sure, but I usually like water in the shower and then put it straight back in. But at least you don't have to put like any kind of lining or like a tray in there. So I love that. And then I have this one, which is made out of willow. And this is a slightly bigger one. Ah, they're so nice. Good morning. So it's the next day. I am going to show you guys a before and after of my wardrobe situation. <laughs> I was going to do this as like a whole separate video, but honestly, I don't know if it will work just because our wardrobes are very hard to film in. So what I'm going to do my best is just show you a bit of before. This is what we've been working with for the last six weeks um, or really two months because I've been living out of a suitcase uh, in quarantine as well. So I'm now going to take the rest of my clothes that came on the boat out of their boxes, organize them all, put them into the wardrobe with a nice little organizational solutions and I'll just show you guys an after. Alrighty, we are finished with the wardrobe. It's certainly not perfect, but considering this is a somewhat temporary home for us, just for the next year, I think it's gonna be really functional. Pretty much almost every piece of clothing I own is in that wardrobe, apart from what I'm wearing, and these few pieces of concert wear out here on this rack. Alrighty, so this is what we are working with now. On this lower rack here, I've got just all my jackets and coats, and then some of my really nice long sleeved blouses and then all my jeans and trousers along here. I tried to hang as much as possible because I had a lot of hanging space but not very much shelving. So that's why my jeans, which I'd probably normally just fold and put them in like a drawer. We don't have any drawers. So this works well, just folding them over the coat hanger like this. And then above the short rail, I have my little clothes organizers. I wasn't planning to stack them, but I can fit a little bit more in if I do that. So <laughs> ended up working out quite well so I've got um, bras on the top, underwear in here, socks and hosiery, with some sweats, <laughs> my sort of thinner knitwear here, my thicker knitwear. This box has my swimsuits and then this one has more like workout gear or like outdoorsy gear. Up the top I have a few pairs of my heels which look really cute up there. So that's a little overview of that side. It's looking nice and tidy and then I have my Cezanne cloth bag here, my tote bag. And then on this side, this is the long hang side. So I've got like more of my long maxi dresses and longer clothes, although we'll start at the top. So I've got a few pairs of boots up the top and I might swap these two shelves around for winter because this shelf has my like more summery shoes and my sneakers. So I might pull down some of those boots and put them in here when it's a bit cooler. So at this end, we're kind of starting with more like t-shirts and tops. So I've got a few tops in here. Got all my little cropped t-shirts here. I've got like five of them now. I love those in summer and including <laughs> an extra hanger for the t-shirt I'm wearing. I've got a ton of black and navy camisoles. They're like one of my favorite things to wear in summer. So I've got a ton of those. Then I have some of my shorter dresses followed by like my longer dresses and jumpsuits here and a couple of skirts on the end. These are a bit long to put on the shelves, my long boots, so I've just popped them down there as well as my Ugg boots because I'll probably live in those around the house to be honest. Underneath the part that isn't sort of like my longer clothes, I've popped my medium sized suitcase which is a suitcase I'm going to use the most. I'm going to actually put my large one into storage. I'm not going to be doing any big international travels. And then in this little bag here, I've just popped like scarves and gloves and stuff. It's a bit random but I ran out of shelf space so I figured I can put all my scarves and gloves and hats and stuff in there. So that's a little overview. It's looking about as good as it probably can to be honest. Pretty good for just like a bit of a temporary solution. 
also editing Anna here. <laughs> this is Alex's wardrobe. It's pretty much identical, but just on the other side. Hey. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys the living room in the evening. Ah, oh, it's getting real cozy in here. And when it gets a bit darker, I can light some of the candles as well on the mantelpiece. <sighs> Such cozy, much wow. I think that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do remember to go follow me on Instagram as well if you want to stay up to date with more like real time kind of updates around the house. It's just at Anna Elaine. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and we'll talk soon. Bye.